So the K1100LT with the electrically adjustable windshield. This particular one is not working. So what you need to do is check and see if the motor itself works. So test for power with a test light. Remember, brown is ground. Um, so probe those wires, which we've already done. And if you have power there, test it to see if you have any movement at all. And we do. As you see, we have a little bit of movement here. What happens with these is these are like screw drive cables. They get bound up. So since we, uh, we're going to get into this and just fix this one, since the prices to replace it are nothing short of fucking ridiculous, this component here is the base, and BMW being the <coughs> greedy pigs that they are, want 600 fucking dollars for the base, and again, <coughs> $400 for a fucking piece of plexiglass. Fuck them. Stupid money. Um, and I might add that the windshield isn't even that great anyway. So there's much better better options out there aftermarket. So we're not giving BMW $600 of our money. We are going to disassemble this, lube, clean it, lubricate it, and put it back together. And that should work. So this is what you need to do. You're going to remove this screw, that screw, that screw. Same here. One, two, and three. Get an extra one. Nope, sorry, seven. We'll also notice this is actually a, a water drain tube. It's missing from that side. It's not all that critical, but just pointing it out. This is the windshield that was on the bike. You can see how foggy and shitty it is and it's delaminating here it's just a really piss poor excuse of a windscreen okay so now we lift this out so the arms are going to come through and now we'll take this base right out of here see in the back what I'm talking about little screw drives here you could try to just lubricate this track and get it to work but which we may do but I think we're gonna have to get deeper into it and the biggest thing if you want these to work all the time without binding up use them run it up and down once in a while even if you don't like it in any other position except for one position, change the fucking adjustment once in a while just so it gets some use. And lubricate it. Take it apart once a year and lubricate it. So we're going to do that now. Use the penetrating oil of your choice. In this case, today, it's PV Blaster. You see this little guide track? I'm going to run that up and down a little bit just so we can show it moving. You see here where it's kind of binding. So we're going to get in here and juice this up a little bit. It's going to make a mess. We're getting a little more range out of it. Probably another quarter inch, half inch. Oh, 
I'll hold this. You run the freaking motor. Driving lights are on. You could do this for a while, trying to get this to free up some. Oh, I can see the shit on it. Oh, it's full of crap. It's all packed with freaking dust and shit. Oh, we can take it apart. Or you can give it, give it a tug, grab the arm here, and tug it, which I just did, and now we have full range of motion. I'm gonna turn the driving lights off. They're, they're, they're burning my fucking sweatshirt. <laughs> Getting a switch. So now that we can get this all the way out, and it is working, we're going to avoid the extra aggravation of disassembling this. Um, fortunate for the customer, or unfortunate for my viewers, because there's no need to just disassemble this. Uh, we're going to lubricate a lot of this a lot more and uh, get it functioning. We have this working nicely now. When you get your HHS, or you could use chain lube. You want to spray these arms. And now we're going to get into the areas that we sprayed with PB Blaster penetrating oil. We're going to do with, as you see right here, it's, it's sucking it right down into the screw drive tube. You also have this part here where I'm spraying. Needs to be lubricated down. Right in that track right there. I need to get into the rest of it up. Nozzle around. Okay, up and down. Our windshield problem has been fixed. Now you will have the adjustability that you want, and it works properly. Make sure you use it. Every time you ride the bike, run the windshield up and down a couple times. That will keep things moving around. And then you'll also notice, you know, one day, six months down the road, you get on, you hit the button, and it doesn't quite move up as fast as it used to, or it's binding. Um, it's telling you it's time to get back in there and lubricate everything. So, so that's it. No need to... Uh, no need to give the uh, BMW greedy pig any money today. Snug these down without going nutty. You do not need blue Loctite, despite what the factory thinks. Merely did it for liability reasons. Now run the shield up and down. Yay! That's it. That's all these do anyway. Next. Done! No money for the BMW greedy pig.